Today we shall reflect on the life of Saint Joseph Vaz born on the 21st of April 1651 at Benaulim in Goa Saint Joseph the third son of Christopher Vaz and Maria de Miranda went on to become one of the greatest missionaries Asia has ever produced It was at the age of 25 that Joseph was ordained priest at Old Goa by Monsignor Antonio Brandao, the Archbishop of Goa. In March 1681, he set off for Canara, where there was no turning back. His ministry took him to Ceylon, which is now Sri Lanka, where at Kandy he proved himself to be a missionary par excellence. facing bravely the vagaries of time and weather as well as suspicion imprisonment and hardship of every kind just so that the word of the lord be proclaimed and his love reign supreme long before the word inculturation came into use joseph vaz had already shown how authentic christian asceticism could be happily blended with indian sanyasism language too was no barrier as he not only learned the local language sinhala but also compiled a dictionary for the benefit of his companions such was the practice of the catholic faith that his whole life had come to be regarded as an object lesson in missionary methods for the joseph's pioneering efforts in organizing the first ever indigenous missionary institute in the third world known as oratory of the cross of miracles of old goa not only ensured a steady supply of missionaries to continue his work in various places but actually helped revive the church in sri lanka and save it from virtual extinction Joseph's love for Our Lady was phenomenal. Joseph died as he had lived, serene and peaceful, a light to all around him. With a lighted candle in his hands and the sweet name of Jesus on his lips, he breathed his last just before the midnight of Friday, 16th of January, 1711. Exactly 284 years later, on 21st of January 1995 Father Joseph Vaz was proclaimed blessed by Pope John Paul II and was canonized on 14th of January 2015 by Pope Francis